Hello, everybody. This is Rama Joey, and I did a little reading up to kind of not really spoil what the endings were, just to kind of see what I needed for them so I wouldn't get locked into one. Because you can very easily get locked into some of the endings here. So I'm going to try and showcase off all the endings for this game. So I'm going to do the first and easiest one. Might not be the best ending. I also didn't see what ending they gave you, if it was a good ending or a bad ending. So I guess we'll see. So... I'm going to save over the ones that are up here. And I think... Yeah, this is the door. Now that she's broken all the mirrors, perhaps Mashira can open this door if she wishes. Let's open it! Okay. Huh? Hey. Ayato! Why are you here? Because this soul is necessary for granting your wish. Huh? Hello, me. So you successfully broke all the mirrors. Your wish will soon come true, and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? This mirror world revolves around, revolves around you, Mishiro. You hold dominion over it. Once a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wish my life had never even existed. It was a very strong wish. To fulfill it, this mirror world was created. It was made solely to realize her wish. The other souls were just ext extras drawn into it. She should have granted her wish in this world she made, but she, was, but she wasn't able to fulfill it. Because she broke before she could. Just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So, not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wandered this world and fell apart. That's in the past now. A concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world went on existing, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. Hmm. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as the world's creator. So that this world could complete its duty, it chose a new soul to control it. And so, since you carried the same wish, you became the new ruler, usurping their originator. This wish, the wish would, the wish the world sought to grant stayed the same, only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world? The extra riffraff who feel jealousy towards you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler. And maybe, broken though she may be, she's personally gotten in your way at times. Even so, you successfully broke all the mirrors without even wasting weeks or months of being lost. You shattered and erased all remnants of you, in the form of mirrors containing your past. Having recorded all your actions, I can attest to that. Hmm. But it's not over just yet. This boy's soul is absolutely it's absolutely necessary for total erasure of your life. I can't talk. Because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life can't be nullified. So it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world. Such that you could kill him by your own hand. Hmm. You aren't telling me I have to kill Ayato. What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that, you'll never have existed. Sure, you're still suffering, huh? If you kill me, you'll be free from your pain. Right after my death, your conflict will end. It's your world. You can make the choice. Um... I didn't read enough to see exactly how, I just know how to avoid getting locked into any of them. Permanently. Um. 
Let's see what this does. There's no choice to make. I threw myself in to put an end to it all. And yet I wound up in this world, learning all these unnecessary things led astray. I'm just tired enough of this. I've worked hard enough to just grant my wishes already. The moment the knife in Mishiro's hand pierced Ayato, Mishiro lost consciousness. With no time to feel satisfaction nor regret from what she'd done, Mishiro Yasoi eternally vanished from his ex existence. Not just silence, not just stillness, but void. There, Mishiro Yasoi was peaceful, free from everything, eternally sleeping in the cradle of nothingness. But her dream, and her dream, was surely a hollow white. Ending four, fulfilled. Her wish was granted. She was surely happy. Okay. There's no choice to make. I threw myself in to put an end to it all. And yet I wound up in this world, le learning all these unnecessary things, led astray. Just tired enough of this. I've worked hard enough, so just grant my wishes already. It's the same thing. Okay, so same thing happens. Great, okay. Now the other one, and this was the thing I was curious about. Like, I was not seeing anybody else's mirrors. Like, these two. And I thought, why would they even mention that these two had mirrors that I could find if I couldn't find any of them? Here's the thing. Like, wherever those teddy bears were, apparently those marked where their mirrors were. Like, I always thought those teddy bears were like bad things, but no. They're just markings. So, um, I'm gonna start off here. Let's see. I don't remember where anything is. Oh. Mirror shows Yuzoi, uh, Yuzu's reflection doesn't seem to change as much as Mishiro looks. Okay, so I guess I have to go get Yuzoi or Yuzu. Do I, why do I want to say Yuzoi? It's not right. You saw one of my mirrors? Whoa! Mishiro, what a discovery! Leave me there right away. If we're together, even those realms won't scare me. When you enter the realm with the mirror, Mishiro Yuzu will automatically follow. Okay. Hello. Damn birds. Fuckers! <laughs> okay, so... Mirror shows you Zoo's reflection. You're right. It's me. I'm getting nervous all of a sudden. But these are my memories. I need to remember them. Stare! <laughs> okay. Eight years ago, a middle school. <sighs> During
during break time, I, Yuzu Hanasaki, sat down in my seat and sighed. Thirteen-year-olds are seen as audacious, but they still have troubles and internal conflict. Hanasaki. Eh? Oh, what? The day duty diary. It's your turn today, so the teacher... Ah, that's right. Thank you so very much, Utsoro. Hmm, well, that's all. Ah. Once again, we couldn't keep talking, though I longed to talk with her more. I, Yuzu Hanasaki, was captivated by Utsoro. She was so unlike the other students, a few, a girl of few words, with a mysterious air, long eyelashes, always looking tired, and her skin and hair were white as snow. It was apparently a kind of albinoism. At first, I thought I wanted to be her friend, but quickly realized it wasn't that. Even if it was but puppy love, I was certainly in love with her. Oh, so cute. It is strange, isn't it? But I wasn't, but I was troubled. I loved her, but at the same time, I hesitated at the idea of loving a girl. I at least wanted to be more friendly with her, if not as a lover, then as a good friend. Okay. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> I remember. Yeah, that's right. Those are my memories from age 13, alright. Hmm. You saw that too, huh, Mashiro? I'm embarrassed. It's a free country. <laughs> Thanks? <laughs> Won't you break the mirror? Huh? Break it? Why? Sure, I wouldn't want everybody else to see, but I need to be with them to look inside. So that's probably fine not to break it. Hmm. Anyway, Mishiro, thanks. Because of you, I finally remembered something else about myself. Now, let's return. Tell me if anything else comes up. Okay. Let's do the first two mirrors of them, if the next mirror I find is his anyway. Okay. So, let's say there. Let's see. If there's any more here. Descend. Okay. Take it. Should have took the painting, surprised by the thickness of its frame. That seems like a trick. <laughs> it would look great on a wall, like, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that was a trick. Oh, maybe there's a reason why I got two swords. There has to be. Why would I get two of one item? It's probably why. I'll fucking grab this anyway, though. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's a nice picture. Yeah, because I still have that. Haha! And certainly not Mashiro, yet she felt she could see in. Okay. Look in. Thirteen years ago, an inn. All that talk about taking a trip together. So this was your goal. Trips are necessary for resting your body and mind, you know. And the kids seem to have fun today, too. They're snoozing away now. A good thing for you, isn't it? Hmm. So, Tamaki, won't you consider it? Drop it, please. It's sorrow is my child. But say she's told me that you've been seeing the shadow of your father in Utsuro lately. Seichi, you told him that? Sorry, but you've looked so afraid lately. He knows the situation, so I just thought I should talk to him about it. 
Tamaki, the biggest load on her mind. It's art, isn't it? Tsuro is eight now. From now on, she's going to be drawing more at school. How about leaving Atsuro with your mother until she's old enough to take this calmly? It will be fine. If I, her mother, can't protect her, then who will? I suppose you're right, Tamaki, but it feels like you'll collapse at this rate. What will happen to Ayato then? Mmm. Nobody's perfect. You don't need to carry everything alone. Especially considering your burdens are much heavier than most. But still... I still want to hold out. I don't want to break up this family of four. Tamaki. Shinji. Chika. I'll support Tamaki as much as I can. Let me just try it for a little longer. Sechi. If the two of you insist, then I won't stop you. But just keep in mind, Tamaki, you've already put in plenty of toil. So at least stop it before it does you in. Right. What? Hmm. Though it was unclear, Mishiro looked into the mirror. She could tell it was not her mirror, and yet... Okay. Now, I remember one thing that I read said Tamaki would trigger... Tamaki and one of the other names, I can't remember what it was. Probably should. But Tamaki was one thing that you kind of want to avoid if you want to avoid getting locked into endings. So, I'll probably start from a different save. <laughs> it's not like I only like girls, yeah? I mean, probably. I just happened to fall for a girl first. I mean, I do think you're kind of cute, too. Oh, <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> okay, well, either way, <laughs> I'm gonna end this episode here. So, this is Rama Joey signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.